Hi everyone, I'm Greta with Chattahoochee Valley Libraries. I'm here today in the Columbus Public Library Storytime Room. I've got two good books to share with you today, and they're both about friendship. So, I've asked my good friend, Miss Lonnie, to read one of the books to us, and then I'll read the second one. Miss Lonnie's going to read Hooray for Hat, and the puppets behind me are all characters in the story that she's going to read to you. Now before we get started, let's review the five simple steps that are going to help grow your brain so when you head off for school, you'll be ready to learn to read. They're talk, sing, read, write, and play. And an easy way to remember them is through a song. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Do it every day. Before Miss Lonnie starts reading our story, I want to show you something. In her book, the animals are going to talk. Do animals talk in real life? No. So we know that's going to be a fiction story. And quotation marks, which are these black symbols, are what writers put around the words that the characters are saying. So my words say, hello, friends. That's exactly what came out of my mouth. Watch inside the book while Miss Lonnie reads it, and you'll see quotation marks, and you'll know what it is the animals are saying as she reads. Hi friends, it's Miss Lonnie from the Columbus Public Library, and today I'm going to be reading Hooray for Hat, Words and Pictures by Brian Wan. When Elephant woke up, he was grumpy. Do you see this dark scribble cloud above Elephant's head? That lets the readers know that he's really, really grumpy. The doorbell rang and Elephant stomped down the stairs. Go away, I'm grumpy. There was a present on the doorstep. Elephant unwrapped the box and inside, do you see all of these super cool hats? It looks like there's a bird hat, a crown, a graduation cap, a sheriff's hat, and even a party hat. It was hard to stay grumpy now. Elephant cheered, hooray for hat, hooray for hat. I love how colorful the word hooray is. It lets me know that Elephant is really excited. So let's do that one more time. Hooray for hat! Hooray for hat! I will show Zebra. Oh no. Zebra has that dark scribble cloud that Elephant once had. He didn't want to look at any hats. Go away, I'm grumpy. So Elephant gave Zebra a hat. Zebra smiled and they both cheered. Hooray for hat! Hooray for hat! Let's show Turtle, they said. But Turtle would not come out of his shell. Go away, I'm grumpy! Even Turtle has that dark scribble cloud above his head. Elephant gave Turtle a hat too, and Turtle smiled, and they all cheered. Hooray for hat! Hooray for hat! Let's show Al! So off they go to show Al. But Al did not want to see them or their hats. Go away, I'm grumpy! Here's Al with that dark scribble cloud. Elephant gave Al a hat too. Al smiled and they all cheered. Who, who, hooray for hat. Elephant, zebra, turtle, and Al marched down the road to show lion. Hooray for hat, hooray for hat. 
but Lion did not want any visitors. Go away, I'm grumpy. Elephant gave Lion a hat too, but Lion was still sad. I love this hat, but I can't cheer while our friend Giraffe is not feeling well. What can we do? So Elephant, Zebra, Turtle, Owl, and Lion made a surprise for Giraffe. They all marched to Giraffe's home. On the way, Lion started to feel better. And soon, Giraffe felt better too. And this time they cheered. Hooray for friends. Hooray for friends. The end. Hooray for hat. I hope you all enjoyed that book as much as I did. That book reminds me of my dear friend, Miss Greta. So I just had to make her her very own special hat. she likes it. And if you have a special friend or two at home, then how about you make them their own special hat? Hooray for hat! Hooray for hat! Bye! Thanks, Lonnie. I love it. Hooray for hat! And hooray for friends. Now it's time to share my story. You Will Be My Friend by Peter Brown. My book doesn't have quotation marks in it. When the characters talk, the words are in these speech bubbles with a pointy part pointing to the character who's talking. Look for that while I share this great book with you. You Will Be My Friend by Peter Brown. Mom! Mom! Lucy was very excited when she woke up. Mom, I've decided I'm going to make a new friend today. Isn't that exciting? That is exciting, Lucille, but how do you plan on finding a new friend? Mom, the forest is crawling with fun critters. Surely one of them will want to be my friend. This is going to be great. So Lucy went outside to begin her search. Good luck, Lucille. Bye, Mom. I cannot wait to make a new friend. We're going to do cartwheels and have picnics and climb trees and go swimming and have a dance party. Lucy's search got off to a great start when a nice critter invited her to play. Oh, oh yes, I'd love to join you. Ribbit. Woohoo! She jumped into the air and splash. <gasps> but things didn't work out. All the water splashed out of the pond. Oh well, there are plenty other critters in the forest. It didn't take long for Lucy to find another friendly looking animal. I'll just go up and introduce myself. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to climb into your breakfast. Munch, munch. That friendship didn't work out either. Lucy did her best to win over the forest animals. She was helpful. Don't worry, we'll get that nasty smell out. She asked lots of questions. So tell me, what's it like to fly? And she tried to fit in with everyone she met. But Lucy was starting to feel ridiculous. She came close to making friends a few times, but something always went wrong. Thanks for inviting me to lunch. Buzz, buzz, buzz. <gasps> Sorry, I ate your house. 
Lucy couldn't believe how hard it was to make a new friend. She was ready to be friends with anyone. Well, almost anyone. Look at how those kids are treating her. Squeak, 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 squeak. Oh, Lucy does not look happy. That's when things got ugly. Come back here and have fun with me. You won't get any snacks until you start liking me right now. You will be my friend. I can wait. She's shouting at the egg. <gasps> Lucy tried to calm herself down. Take a deep breath, Lucy. <sighs> you can do this. You can make a new friend. Just be yourself. Doesn't anybody want to be my friend? Look how big those words are. She's really shouting. This is hopeless. It looked as if Lucy would never find a new friend. Oh, and then a funny thing happened. Squawk! Follow his path. Oh, look! And around the trees, he's hiding behind. Oh, he's right behind Lucy. Squawk! Squawkity squawk! Oh my gosh! Are you asking me to be your friend? Squawk! I accept. And that's the story of how these two friends found each other. And look, cartwheels, picnics, swimming, climbing trees, and a dance party. The end. We hope you've enjoyed these stories about friendship. Miss Lania and I love these books, and here's some more by the same authors. Hooray for books, and hooray for today. And children make terrible pets. They have the same characters you met today. And these are available at the library. So check them out. Have a great day. Bye. 90% of brain growth happens before kindergarten. 90%. So talk, sing, read, write, and play with your child every day. Those five simple steps build the foundation for a lifetime of learning.